Greetings, I'm Adam Bell, also known as Engrith, the lead designer for EverQuest. Uh, welcome to the Reign of Fear expansion. Hi, I'm Chris Black and I worked on Shards Landing. Shards Landing is the introductory zone to Reign of Fear. It is the first place you'll visit and the place where you'll probably die the least. You're welcome. Uh, my goal in designing Shards Landing was to recreate the play experience I had as a player in Dragon Scale Hills. I wanted to fill the area with interesting encounters and create enough quests to keep you entertained for a long time. Hi, I'm Josh Augustine, uh, also known as Augur. I am an associate game designer on EverQuest. Hi, I'm Rob Cuenca. I'm a senior artist on EverQuest. Evan Till the Vile Oak. It is this uh, cool new zone. It's pretty unique. I love it because it's basically a giant tree. And uh, you get to traverse through the inside and get to the very top where you get to explore the, the canopy. It just has this huge monster face on it because an evil field shard smashed into it, corrupted this tree. It wasn't always evil, um, but now all the Alarns that lived in the tree, like the evil fruit is growing, they're eating it, they're getting corrupted, um, and druids have shown up to try and save the tree. Hi, my name is Julie, better known as Elyra on the forums, and I worked on a ton of content for EverQuest's Reign of Fear expansion. But what I'm most excited to talk about is a zone known as the Breeding Grounds. Hi, I'm Kevin Lighty. I'm the lead artist on EverQuest. Um, I worked on the, the Breeding Grounds. When the Shards of Fear first started raining down on Norath, one of the larger crystals shot through the icy tundra of the Western Waste and pierced the crematorium in Dragon Necropolis. This caused fear-tainted magma to seep down into a long-forgotten area below. This cavern was littered with ancient frozen eggs, which are now hatching into a new breed of dragons which have been touched by the essence of fear. It's a big zone. It's uh, got three very distinct themes. challenge was, again, the size and then um, uh, creating this area that could handle these three themes and still have a sense of continuity. Um, there's lots of really interesting places, um, tons of effects. Hi, my name is Justin Deeb and I'm a game designer on EverQuest. Uh, I did the zone design for Grelith, Grelith's Palace, uh, the Chateau of Filth. Grelith is a large zone built on trash. The entire zone is built entirely of trash. So um, there's a lot of flies and rotting corpses. And The palace itself is massive, sprawling, and disgusting. It has um, uh, necromancer studies, um, pools of filth, prisons. Um, it's pretty huge. My name is Bob Painter. I'm an artist on EverQuest, and I worked on the uh, Valley of King's Orb. Hello, my name is David Stewart. I am a game designer for EverQuest. So when the uh, Fear Shard fell, it uh, ripped into the valley where uh, King Zorb was being held um, and it you know, tore him to the ground and freed him from his underground prison where he was being held. And with this newfound power, he you know, claimed it and rose up and decided, I'm going to make the valley anew and I'm going to destroy all the people who you know, uh, held me and who had tortured me for all those years. The valley of King Zorb basically consists of two different areas. The above ground area, which consists of waterfalls, uh, serene meadow forests and contrast to the underground area where the uh, the goblins dwell and they have their uh, mining caves and sewers. Uh, my name is Joe Vinson. I'm the character artist on the EverQuest team. Some of the characters that we have for this expansion have been really cool to recreate. Um, one particular is the uh, man trap. Uh, to be able to, to make the texture and to make it have a blue glowy type of feel and to make the animations some more like a plant, something not really lifelike or human-like, was really cool to create. Hi, my name is Jason Leo and I'm a designer on EverQuest, also known as Chandrock, and I did the zone design for the Chapter House of the Fallen. Now for this zone, we thought it would be pretty cool to go back to some of the old dungeon crawls. The Fallen was one of the great low-level dungeon crawls in EverQuest, the source of many unfortunate deaths. And we wanted to kind of revisit that feeling, so I designed this really sprawling complex of the chapter house that was previously undiscovered because it was collapsed behind rubble when the original The Fallen fell. Hi guys, I'm Doug Cronkite, also known as Eladroth. I'm a senior designer on EverQuest. I went into North Temple of Ishan, looked at all the dragons, decided that what they really needed was some freshening up, some more challenge, some more fun. Uh, and each new dragon, while familiar to those of you who've played it in the past, has a new twist. And it will definitely be a challenge for a lot of you out there. Thank you for playing in the world of Norath, and we hope to see you there. Sony.